Hi everybody. So we're moving into the module of origin stories and I really want to impress upon you the importance of quoting the literature. So remember English 101 is about finding those great quotes and explaining them. So I'm going to take a second to talk about the Egyptian creation myth which you will find in the module right under the origin stories have that PDF for you. So let's start at the beginning of the plot summary. In the beginning there was no sky or land only the deep dark waters of none. So you have absolutely nothing. You have a dark abyss of absolute nothing. And then you have this from the waters, a serpent-like form of energy called Neber, Neber, Nebertature, sorry, <laughs> surfaces with a desire to create the world. So you have this serpent-like form with a desire to create the world. So that's interesting. Now, how do you want to analyze serpent-like form of energy? Do you think that's positive or negative? How do you want to interpret those words? Because remember, you're looking for the literal and then the symbolic. So serpent-like snake, um, this energy, so it's not a real form, right? It's not a human being. How do you want to interpret it? But this thing has a desire to create the world. So that's interesting, right? A desire, meaning there's this, this desire to build, this desire to create, this desire to change. Um, so then he transforms himself into the god Capri. Um, and then if you go farther down, Capri takes three forms during a given day. Well, that's interesting. Three forms. You have the morning and then you have the afternoon and then you have the night and they're all three different forms. Now, how do you want to interpret that? Do you want to interpret this as positive that you have this thing transforming into three types of forms to help people in different ways or do you want to think that this form is a megalomaniac right who's taking control for himself and not sharing the wealth how do you want to interpret it right so this myth can the way you interpret these words can vary and that's the beauty and the fun of english 101 i love reading your work because everyone has a different opinion on how to interpret those words so remember you have the literal like literally what happened in this story and then you're finding those sentences that really can help you jump into wow what does this mean what's the deeper meaning of this so you have this form serpent-like form who takes three other forms during the 24 hours is what is happening here is this a commentary on male superiority is this a commentary on love and change is this i mean how do you want to interpret the words it's totally up to you um pick an origin story and break it down find a few sentences that have the literal and the symbolic and tell me what you think. That's really all I'm asking, okay? Again, I'm looking for sentences that have a literal, but then can be transformed into like symbolic. What is me what's the deeper meaning here? What can be implied? All right. So you have the literal and then you have the implied. So look for those sentences that you can really sort of investigate, break down, and share what you think they mean. Okay, so let me know if I can help you. All right, best of luck.